Today is National Wildlife Day in the United States. It's actually one of two days that we celebrate National Wildlife Day. Don't ask me why. And uh, today I took the day off, headed out to Point Reyes National Seashore and ended up spotting bobcats and tule elk. And both of them are just awesome species that I love to photograph and document. So that's what I'm gonna share with you today. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt, a nature and wildlife photographer based in Northern California. And today I'm at Point Reyes National Seashore, a National Park Service administered swath of land in Marin County outside of San Francisco. On my way out here though, I stopped at one of my favorite roads, um, which is uh, just a dirt road kind of off the beaten track. But I've had a lot of success there seeing wildlife in the past and today was no exception. I had the most exceptional experience photographing and taking video of bobcats. So besides being incredibly beautiful, Point Reyes National Seashore is home to a reserve that protects the tule elk. Now the tule elk are important because they are a population, a subspecies of elk that is only found in California. They came very close to being extinct. In the 1700s, 1600s, and centuries preceding that, the population was doing well. National Park Service estimates that there were about 500,000 tule elk in California. But with the gold rush that happened in the 1800s and this mass movement of people from the East Coast to the West Coast, there was hunting of tule elk, there was a lot of encroachment of the uh, natural grazing areas and territories that tule elk lived on, and the population dwindled. And it's estimated that by the mid-1800s, there were very, very few tule elk in California left, and some even thought that they were extinct. That all started to change when a rancher named Henry Miller um, discovered that there was a mating pair on his property, and he got it in his head that he wanted to preserve this population and rebuild it. And so he started to create a, a habitat for the tule elk that would help them grow, and his, his efforts were fairly successful. Population grew from single digits to dozens and eventually hundreds of tule elk in California. And by the early 1970s, there was an effort underway to protect this population, to preserve it. And so now the population has grown dramatically. It's now in the thousands. I think the most recent estimate I saw was about 5,000 head of tule elk. And so this is one of those success stories where we went from the brink of extinction to, um, to successful uh, population growth. But there are a lot of species out there, obviously, that haven't made it. There are a lot of species like the orangutan that are on the brink. And there are even species that we've come to accept as commonplace, like the monarch, that potentially could become extinct in our lifetimes. And that's really scary and concerning. And so, um, anyway, I wanted to come out here and just spend some time with the tule elk to take some video and to document them. All right, well, that's, that's what I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I mean, getting out here on um, a day like today, it's February in California. 
it's 60 degrees, beautiful, sunny, awesome day, and it's a wildlife day. So being out here with wildlife, getting to see a couple awesome species, some of my favorite species document, it's a really awesome day and really had a great time. So anyway, hope to see you next video and hope you enjoyed coming along for the adventure. And don't forget to get outside and enjoy wherever you live, the natural beauty, whatever season it may be. Take care and be well.